Hello everyone, welcome to PRC Adventures. So what we have today is a little video from the Lion Habitat Ranch in Henderson, Nevada. Um, it is near Las Vegas. It's actually really close to the, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders uh, practice facility. So it's actually really cool. You can see that on the way out there. But um, so if you remember the MGM Grand back in the 2000s, they had lions there. Some were cubs, some were a little older. Um, the lions never lived at the MGM Grand. They were only staying there during the day. They basically uh, went for a work shift. So this ranch is where they've lived the entire time, this lion habitat. So they, did, they never lived at the MGM. What the trainers would do is in the morning, they would see if a few lions wanted to go. They were never forced. There's plenty of lions there. There was actually 36 lions. So there was always a lion, uh, a few lions that were willing to go. Uh, so they left and they would go to the MGM Grand and they would work a shift, basically hanging out there, playing with some balls, uh, some semi-indestructible toys, getting fed, uh, being viewed by the people, stuff like that. Um, and then at the end of the day, they would go back home to the ranch. Uh, so that went on until about 2012, I believe. And they closed the facility when they did uh, a large renovation of the hotel. Uh, I don't know what's there now, if it's just casino floor and a bunch of slot machines or what. Um, I thought it was Hakkasan, but I guess that is just in the old Studio 54 location. Um, so if you know what is in place of the old Lion uh, facility at the MGM Grand, uh, you know, comment and let me know because I'm really curious. I, I searched the internet and I couldn't really find any clear answers. And even when MGM said that they were going to close it down, they never said what they were going to put in its place. So uh, please let me know if you have that information. But um, yeah, this is a really cool place. Uh, the giraffe uh, is actually paints paintings. Ozzy the giraffe. It is super cool to watch. Um, I'm not going to talk the whole time. <laughs> just, just enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please put it below. If you like it, or even if you didn't, uh, it doesn't bother me. Just lie and like the video. I was good on that side, I think. Now, since he is an herbivore, that means that he is a prey species. And giraffes out in the wild are known as the sentinels of the savannah. Since they're so tall, though, they can see the predators coming from a greater distance away. So shorter prey species like zebras or gazelles will actually hang out near the giraffes and they watch them. Good job. When they see the giraffes start to run away, they know that something must be coming, so then they'll start running away too. You did a very good job, Ozzy. Ozzy does know that he's not supposed to be painting with his mouth full. So when he's all done chewing, he comes down and he sticks his tongue out at me just like that. That's how he tells me that he's done chewing and he's ready to start painting. Very good, Oz. That tongue of his is super long, as you can see. It grows about one inch for every foot in height that he grows. So since he's about 16 feet tall, that means his tongue is 16 inches long. If you notice, it's also a nice dark pigment. Uh, that is because giraffes will spend about 18 to 20 hours a day foraging for food. Again, he's got to make sure he eats a lot. Uh, so he's constantly sticking that tongue out in the environment. So that dark pigmentation helps act as a natural form of sunscreen to protect his tongue. I think that looks good for the bag. Maybe we'll switch to the paper. Do a little bit more. He is, he's really enjoying this painting session. Ozzy is here voluntarily. The door is open. He could leave at any time if he wanted to. He is choosing to be here painting right now. Oh, 
Now Ozzy can't fully see in color just like we can, so he really is choosing where he wants to put each color on there. He does have favorite colors and colors he doesn't like as much. If he really likes the colors, he goes to town painting. He just gets paint all over that piece of paper. It's a really good job. If he doesn't like the colors as much, he will paint basically anywhere besides what he's supposed to be painting. So sometimes he likes to be an interior decorator and he'll paint on the side of the wall. Or he likes to paint uh, the floor. He'll just throw the paintbrush on the ground. Or he likes to paint the people that he's working with. He really likes to do manicures. Aaron's got a little bit of a manicure going on. We should wear gloves this time. He also will do face painting or hair shaking too. <laughs> if you've noticed as Ozzy's been painting, you might be hearing a clicking sound. That's actually me. I have a clicker here in my hand. So every time Ozzy touches the paintbrush to whatever it is we're painting, I give him a click. Now this is me telling him he's doing a good job painting and that he's going to be rewarded for it. He knows that the more clicks he hears, the more treats he's going to get. I am very careful though to only give him a click at the exact moment that he is painting. Because that's how I communicate to him that that is the behavior that I want and that's the behavior he's being rewarded for. But aside from being an artist here, Ozzy does have kind of a serious job. And that is to act as an animal ambassador for his species. So Ozzy is here representing giraffes that are out in the wild and he wants to tell everybody about the silent extinction that giraffes are currently facing. Now the reason why we call it a silent extinction is because not a lot of people know about it. Everyone talks about the elephants and we talk about the rhinos, but no one's really talking about the giraffes. But in the past 20 years, some populations of giraffes have been decimated by up to 80%. Now this is mostly due to habitat loss, but hunting and poaching do play a part in that as well. So Ozzy here just wants to tell everybody that the only appropriate way to shoot a giraffe is with a camera. <laughs> Ozzy loves to have his picture taken, just be sure to tag us on social media at uh, hashtag Lion Habitat Ranch or hashtag Ozzy the Giraffe. That looks pretty good. If you guys like the way Ozzy painted today, go ahead and give him a big round of applause. Good job, Ozzy. Love it. Why don't you go ahead and take a bow for us? Very good, Ozzy. Good job, Oz. <laughs> All of Ozzy's completed artworks is located in the gift shop in the building right over there. He paints uh, reusable bags, canvases of all different sizes, mm -hmm. hats, scarves, and t-shirts, you name it, Ozzy paints it. If you want to check out Ozzy's art gallery, please do so. If you don't see any particular colors that you like, you can definitely talk to Sean in there about getting a custom piece by Ozzy where you get to choose the colors that he paints with. Thank you guys so much for coming out today and helping celebrate Ozzy's birthday with us. Hope you guys all enjoyed the show. Thank you. <laughs>